Welcome back for another video. Before we begin this video though, I just want to let y'all know, Barrio Tales hoodies are now available. Red, black, purple, orange, and blue. Cash App and PayPal how you can reach me. They're only $25 with free shipping. Don't just look at it, wear it. T-shirts are also available still. All you gotta do is hit that Cash App and PayPal that you see right there. Thank you. Welcome back for another video. Today's video will be about another all too common tragedy that happens involving innocent victims. The story covered today includes an innocent nine year old Anaheim girl named Jimena Mesa and not a two herd of unfamiliar gang called RAW. The acronym stands for Ready at War along with two active participants of the decades old Anaheim folks which means family of Latin King Serrano gang. The Anaheim folks have no connection or relation with the Latin Kings in Chicago or New York. The two active participant names from the Anaheim folks are Ricardo Cruz and Alfredo Aquino. Dating back to March 2011, Anaheim folks had been hit with a gang injunction, which in simpler terms means essentially a restraining order against a gang. They can't be seen together in public, posted up, none of that. If they are and police see them posted up together, even if they're not doing anything wrong, they can be arrested for being in public together. Salvadoran American Jimena Mesa was an innocent nine-year-old who lived in an apartment with her sisters and parents. On October 22, 2014, around 7.15 p.m., Jimena was outside playing with her sisters in front of their apartment near Brookhurst Park when Jimena was shot in the chest while playing with her sisters on the sidewalk in the 2300 block of West Green Acre Avenue in Anaheim. She died about 30 minutes later at UCI Medical Center in Orange. Detectives determined that the shooting was carried out by two or more people in a white car. Police said that the shooting happened when one man got out of a car and opened fire with a handgun. It appears the intended targets likely were a group of men who were gathered just west of where Jimena was playing. The two men, Ricardo and Alfredo, were trying to shoot other rival gang members, and sadly, Jimena was the innocent bystander in the shooting. Jimena Mesa was shot in the chest, leaving her to die in her father's arms. Ricardo and Alfredo were arrested two days later in connection with the shooting on suspicion of murder and other charges. Jimena's family held a mass for her during the mass. Jimena's parents held each other and cried as they said goodbye to their oldest daughter. They wore matching t-shirts with a picture of Jimena on the front and a message on the back. Jimena, our star that will always shine and remain in our hearts forever. Matthew 5.8 Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. After the mass, a hearse carried Jimena's body from the church to Pacific View Memorial Park in Mortuary in Corona del Mar, where she was to be buried. Five years later, on May 31st, 2019, both Ricardo Cruz and Alfredo Aquina were convicted of second-degree murder and, of course, gang and firearm enhancements in connection with Jimena's murder. Animosity between Ricardo and Alfredo culminated the day the two were convicted by a jury when Cruz lunged at Aquino in open court and the two brawled briefly on the floor before the fight was broken up. On Friday, October 18, 2019, Ricardo Cruz was sentenced to 70 years to life in prison. Later, Alfredo Aquino was sentenced to 55 years to life in state prison. 15 years less than the sentence previously handed down to co-defendant Ricardo Cruz. Mesa excelled at her studies as a 5th grader at nearby Juliet Low Elementary School where she developed a budding passion for acting. Having returned from a rehearsal on the night of her death, the family promptly moved out of the neighborhood where the slaying occurred. If not for the murder, Jimena Mesa will be 17 years old today with her whole life ahead of her. Rest in peace to Jimena Mesa.